Welcome to Upper Mustang. Where is Upper Mustang? This is the Himalayas. This is Nepal. It's northern Nepal. Somewhere over that way, I guess, is China. But here, this is very much Nepal. Here, though, in Upper Mustang, it takes a lot of permissions to actually be here. There's a, a permit that's extremely expensive to be here. I'm lucky, though, because I were, am working, actually, for a company that wants me to do a few things here. I've also got a guide who's actually helping to film me. He's name is Babu. I will introduce Babu later on in another sequence. Our driver as well, we'll get Brachus, our driver here. And um, what can I say apart from Namaste? This is the scenery that we've got in front of us. This down here is the village of Gami. We are up approximately 3,800 meters. So yeah, Babu is, uh, is nodding his head. So look at this absolutely beautiful, gorgeous scenery around here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to introduce Babu, who is just here. This guide here has been fantastic and he's making sure I'm in the right place at the right time. So Babu is a local, so he speaks both Nepalese and what's your other language? Lower. Yeah, lower language. Lower language. So he speaks lower language as well as Nepalese. Is the lower language, is it disappearing? Yeah. Yeah, so he's basically speaking a language that is disappearing. So you would say normally namaste in, Nepa in Nepali, but how would you say hello in... Uh, in, in lower language, yeah. tashidilik. 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 Yeah, tashidilik. So he's teaching me Nepalese and maybe some other things as well. But anyway, there you go. You'll see more of Babu later, but look at this. Beautiful, beautiful Nepalese landscapes in Upper Mustang. We've come away from the village of uh, Gami, from where we were this morning. We've found a few views. We've had some interactions with people. I've found some amazing people that Babu actually uh, used to be um, when he was schooled as a monk actually a few years ago before he came away from the monastery we were invited in to have uh, afternoon tea I suppose you could call it with some monks and met the monks where they allowed us to take some pictures and I took some pictures of some of the staff that were helping as well but now we've come to Lomantang down there is Lomantang and also down there is stunning absolutely stunning landscape down there this is Babu's hometown so what I'm hoping is as he's smiling behind the camera is that we with his help are going to get some absolutely amazing stuff what are we going to get he's going to be filming it for me but um, we're going to get him on camera properly but um, Babu do you want to just pan the camera down there show people the absolutely amazing landscape that is here up in northern Nepal, in Mustang, in Upper Mustang. With my guides and my driver, we've come up to the, the, the village of Lomantang, here in Upper Mustang. So we're walking around the streets and uh, it's about midday, I guess, something like that. Yeah. So the light's quite harsh. But there are people doing traditional crafts here. And what I'm trying to do is actually help Babu with his photography, as well as taking the images that I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you what it is that I am photographing. So I'm not going to show this lady's face. So what I do as a photographer is I watch here and I'm watching her hands. So soon she'll bring her hands together there like this. And that's my photo. So I'm going in and I'm looking, I'm observing all the time. I want to see what she's doing. But it's not just this lady. There's also a lady that's just here that's sorting out the wool. So she's doing what she's doing. The wool will then pass to this lady. And then what I do as a photographer is I just sit, I watch patience or as they say to me here in the local language sabar sabar now this is how i 
approach some of my environmental portraits here in Upper Mustang. couple of days have been a real challenge for me because in Lomantang the altitude is nearly 4,000 meters. Because of this me happened to get the high altitude sickness which meant we had to come down. We went down to a village and in the end I actually had to get oxygen to get me working again. It's not the most pleasant thing I can tell you that but today thankfully I'm feeling better and I also want to say a huge thank you to all the people on Instagram and on Facebook who said to me get well which is really appreciated but this evening we have in front of us the Annapurna range absolutely beautiful mountain landscape so my driver Brackus who was behind the camera he brought us up to this secret spot so that I had a huge panorama here. So I've done a panorama and because of the wind some of the mountains are revealing themselves as well. So it's really nice. I've actually got what I want to so I'm going to pack up in a minute and go back down. But we've been doing a couple of things here and again I'm very grateful to my guide Babu and my driver. Brackus. So after my frustrations of getting altitude sickness, thankfully I'm getting better, which is something. And uh, as a car goes by, you'd think that there wouldn't be many people up here, but there are. So anyway, I'm doing a few uh, panoramic shots and a few time lapses of this place. How can you not in this Ant the beautiful Annapurna range? I think it's from there, isn't it, that it ends, you told me. It just basically goes all over here, absolutely stunning mountain panorama unbelievable and i'm still very very grateful to sorry the wonders of recovering from uh, altitude sickness it does take your breath away so today for example we went down to about 2300 meters something like that slowly but surely came back up again here there's about 3000 meters or so something like that i don't know if it, is it 3000 or 4000 nearly is it nearly, it's nearly 4,000, isn't it? Yeah, it's nearly 4,000 meters up here. So that's why my breath, my, my voice sounds a little bit husky. There's the recovery, but it's getting there. I feel a lot better. But when I come up to places like this, I absolutely love mountains. And as I said, how can you not love this? We've been getting some beautiful light at the end of the day, but it's 10 to 6 and the light is going. You can hear my camera clicking away doing a time lapse. So... It'll probably end up as B-roll somewhere, or maybe, I don't know, but um, yeah, just this upper Mustang is amazing. The people are amazing, the landscapes are amazing, the culture is amazing. Earlier on today, we went to a small place and uh, I was doing images of the gurus on the way up to the temple. So doing portrait photography as well, doing travel portraiture. So I'm doing a whole lot of stuff on this trip. In a couple of days' time, I won't be actually in Upper Mustang. I'll be going back to Kathmandu and then looking around there. And I might vlog it, I might not, I don't know. But I'll finish the vlog for here tomorrow. But anyway, I'll let my guide film and show you what's behind me here on the Annapurna Range. <laughs> 